Thank you, Tony. Well, the principal of a Providence Elementary School is appealing her conviction after a judge found her guilty today of failing to report sexual abuse allegations made by young students against a former gym teacher. It's a case we've been following closely for months now. The guilty verdict against Violent Lamar was first breaking on Eyewitness News at noon. New tonight, we're hearing from the Providence School Board about some confusion among teachers and administrators regarding the relatively new duty to report law. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us live now with new details. Eric. Shannon, the verdict comes after the four-day trial brought a total of 10 witnesses to the stand. The judge then took the weekend to think about it, and now Lamar and her attorney appealed his decision so they can take it to Superior Court in front of a jury. Moments after being found guilty, Violet Lamar left Kent County District Court, remaining silent, not answering any questions from reporters. Her attorney, Thomas Gullick, did, however, speak on her behalf. We're very disappointed, and she took an immediate appeal. The Harry Kazarian Elementary School principal was charged back in August and found guilty today of failing to contact DCYF after students came to her accusing gym teacher James Duffy of inappropriately touching them. Lamar's attorney argues the accusations students gave his client were not sexual or abusive. Their initial statements, uh, both written and verbal to Ms. Lamar, did not include any intimate body part. Providence School Board President Nick Hemmons sent a statement to Eyewitness News about the recently new reporting law Lamar has been found guilty of breaking. He can't comment on specifics of the case, but says in part, quote, I think that the intent of the law is perfect. Harm to children must be reported. However, what I have consistently heard from building leaders and teachers is that they are unsure when there is, quote, reason to know that sexual abuse has occurred. He hopes to work with state officials to make it more clear for mandatory reporters as of what must be reported. Lamar has been sentenced to a year suspension, a year probation, and 150 hours of community service. According to Gullick, the students were more descriptive in their accusations in reports that Lamar did not have any part in. She still maintains her innocence and certainly feels that she acted in the best interest of, the, of these kids. And right now, Lamar is on paid administrative leave. Coming up new at 6, why her attorney thinks her good history should have played a bigger role in the decision. Live in Warwick, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tony. Well, a Providence school principal is vowing to fight her conviction after a judge found her guilty of failing to report molestation allegations to DCYF. Before delivering his verdict today, the judge said he found Violet Lamar's testimony, quote, false and deceptive, and said it was, quote, largely designed to make her the victim. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us live from Warwick now with new details. Eric. To one year suspension, one year probation, and 150 hours of community service, and her and her attorney have already appealed the judge's decision. Violet Lamar remained silent Monday morning, not answering any questions from reporters. Moments earlier inside Kent County District Court, a judge found her guilty of failing to contact DCYF after students came to her accusing gym teacher James Duffy of inappropriately touching them. She's very upset. Um, this is her career. Her attorney Thomas Gullick argues when the students at Harry Kazarian came to her with the accusations, their claims were not sexual. He says those allegations didn't come until future investigations and reports that Lamar was not a part of. The initial reports were not sexual in nature, and certainly uh, someone with Ms. Lamar's credentials and history uh, in the education system with uh, someone who's never been disciplined uh, whatsoever uh, should have been given the benefit of the doubt. Lamar and her attorney filed an immediate appeal to bring this to a jury at Superior Court. Violating the reporting law is a misdemeanor. If the jury upholds the judge's decision, Providence City officials tell us historically misdemeanors on records of city employees have been handled on a case-by-case -case basis. And both Providence's school board president and mayor Lorza have told Eyewitness News that they plan on working with lawmakers to make that reporting law more clear. Live in Warwick tonight, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.